in the rainforest uh, fungi release potassium salt particles when they release spores and it's part of the uh, process to um, blow them out into the air trees release turpines into the air beginning in the morning and these waft up in the air sunlight causes the terpenes to sublime onto the salt particles and this builds a perfect or really good condensation nucle uh, nucleus and they rise up into the air so here we have three little tiny ones um, and now um, so this is um, in an updraft situation but um, anyway let's see okay <coughs> so with the condensation nuclei cloud droplets form on them so it forms very quickly when it forms there's heat given off and water vapor is absorbed and um, then the droplets tend to fall so they fall at about a centimeter per second and uh, if they're falling into air that has uh, less moisture in them the um, uh, water vapor evaporates into the um, low humidity air and they absorb energy so what's actually the energy is being used to evaporate the water uh, water vapor so it's a coupled process so energy is absorbed water vapor is released and this happens in an updraft so the droplets tend to stay roughly in the same place uh, instead of actually falling um, so the water vapor being absorbed and the heat being um, or sorry water vapor being released and the heat being absorbed um, are coupled and we're not sure where the heat is absorbed from it might be coming from above or it might be um, coming from um, gas particles that are just slowing down and anyway the water vapor gets released and you end up with the condensation nuclei um, at the bottom so synopsis warm air expansion uh, because uh, the heat the he um, energy given off m means the air warms up here but there's fewer molecules because the water vapor molecules have been absorbed um, as it goes down um, the air is cooling which causes contraction but there's more molecules because the water vapor is added uh, we get down cooling again more molecules but um, so it's expanding but it's lighter uh, uh, but what just happened in this event as it absorbed water vapor here and released it lower down and um, we'll get to that this um, the condensation nuclei extracted light water vapor from the saturated upper layer up here and released it a little lower down in unsaturated air and this means that if it's left it's brought lighter air down the water vapor because it has a molecular weight of 18 while dry air has been moved up 
so relative to each other and the condensation nuclei get reused because once uh, saturation happens again uh, um, droplets will condense on them again so um, without the condensation nuclei this shut shuttling of water vapor down in the column of rising air would not occur the shuttling of light water vapor down on condensation nuclei actually contributes to an extra upward pumping effect in the clouds that does not occur in air that have no condensation nuclei so this is an important effect and this is my first draft of it and it's just to help um, get it right in a, a second or third draft so thanks for listening and uh, help me improve it thank you